don't know if your teacher is going to teach this to you soon, but you'll know it for whenever she does. So we've worked with a two digit by a two digit. So now we're going to do a three digit by a two digit. So if we did 156 times 28, we're going to do 100 here and then 50 and then 6. Does that make sense to you why I did that? Yeah. All right. And then 20 and then 8. Now for your first one, you're going to do 2 times 1 is 2. We have two zeros here. We have one zero here. So we're going to have a total of three zeros. Now we're going to do one times eight is eight. And we have two zeros here. So we're going to put them down here. Does that make sense to you so far? Mm -hmm. So you're so you're putting the number into the box and then adding the two zeros from the 100? Yeah, so I'm doing 8 times 1 is 8, and then these two zeros I haven't done anything with, so I have to put them in the back. Make sense? Yeah. All right. Now we're going to do 5 times 2 is 10, and we haven't dealt with this zero or this zero, so what do we need to do? We need to put them in the back. Then we're going to do 5 times 8 is 40, and then this 0 goes in the back. Make sense so far? Yeah, so I get that you added the 1 from the 100. Mm -hmm. You added the 100, but where did the 4 come from? So 5 times 8, oh sorry. It's five times eight is 40. Oh yeah, it's 40 plus you have to deal with the zero. So it's 400. Does that make sense? Eight times yeah. five is 40 and then we haven't dealt with this zero yet. So what do we do? We put it down here. Okay. All right, next step. Six times two is 12. And then this has a zero, we have to put right here. And then eight times six is 48. Now we add these together. 2,000 plus 800 is 2,800. 1,000 plus 400 is 1,400. And then 120 plus 48 is 168. Now we put them together. 2,800 plus 1,400 plus 168 equals 8, 6, 13, 4,368. Kind of makes sense a little bit? Yep. Awesome. Okay. Now I will send this 